mini bags are very small, are very useless in a way. The popularity for all mini bags are on the rise. Hermes has decided to launch newer mini sizes under different styles. I wanted to present you guys an overview of eight hottest Hermes mini bags today. Today's information is going to be very useful for you if you are looking into purchasing mini handbags from Hermes. guys, welcome back to the channel, Vivian here. In today's video, I want to go over eight most popular Hermes mini size handbags with you guys. Mini bags are very small, are very useless in a way, but I personally have been using them on the daily and I find them quite practical and easy to carry around because I learned to try not to fit my whole life into mini bags. Therefore, it kind of forces us to take the most useful things on the go. Mini bags are becoming more and more popular in the recent years and if you have been following the channel, you know that I have a theme for mini bags. Hermes has also been releasing more and more mini style handbags from their original lineup. With the recent Chanel price increase, it has definitely pushed a wave of clients from Chanel to Hermes. So I wanted to present you guys an overview of eight hottest Hermes mini bags. There's no particular order for these bags. I am just going to be walking you guys through and show you guys the relevant information as I go. Without further talking, let's get into today's Today's video. So the very first one is the Mini Evelyn. I have made a dedicated video on the channel about the Mini Evelyn as I first borrowed it from my friend. And then I was able to get the lime color. And then my mom has the gold color. Both of them have been a favorite. Even though now it's quarantine time, we haven't had a lot of chance to use it. But the Mini Evelyn first came out in 1978. The mini size we're referring to is actually the TPM model. It measures 16 by 18 by 5 centimeter. Price for Mini Evelyn, if it's a Clemens leather, it is around $1,800. Mini Evelyn is available in Clemens leather. And through my research, I have also seen the felt material. Like I mentioned, I'm talking about majority of the case. There might be a few exceptions. If you have discovered in the store that they're offering you a different type of leather, but in general, this style is most commonly seen in the Clemens leather. Adjustable strap is made out of a durable canvas material. Sometimes there are bags that's offered in different types of straps where it's woven, it's kind of a mixed braid versus the single color. So there's quite a lot of variety on it. It is a very casual and cute style. It is um, fuzzy and simple. And also there's a giant perforated H logo on the bag. The bag is kind of slim and it doesn't really have any compartments on the mini size, but on the other sizes that's offered in the Evelyn, I know there is an additional pocket where the opening of the bag is. So if you are looking for something that is very easy and simple, you can look into the mini Evelyn. The inspiration of the bag came from from 1978 when the former head of Hermes writing department, Evelyn and her team sat down to create a bag that would serve as a convenient carry-all for horse grooming equipment. Then they came up with a design of a crossbody bag that featured a simple messenger-like silhouette and a small belt closure and then a removable shoulder strap. The bag was named Evelyn after the creator of the department. The next bag is the Bolide and it is of course in the mini size. So it is the Mini Bolide 1923. After research, Mini Bolide was launched in 2011 and allegedly it is also said it was first seen in 2017. The size for the Mini Bolide measures 7.5 by 6 by 3.5. I have tried on this bag in the boutique when I saw the mini one because it was just too adorable not to have a touch or not to try on. This bag reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. The silhouette is pretty much like a half shell size with two handles and on the mini one there are two strap holders for the crossbody strap and they are all made out of leather. There's no compartments inside of this bag besides two pockets on each side. It is most commonly seen in goat skin or ever color. It is very tiny in person and I was like, how can I envision myself carrying it? With a bag like that, I do think it's more practical than the structured bag. The bag itself does have a hard bottom. The body of the bag is softer, so that way you can fit a lot more things. That is the main difference between the Mini Bolide and the Alma BB. And the price for this bag, we're looking at 5,000 US dollars. Depending on the material, Gold Skin one costs slightly more than 
than the Ever Color. The Gold Skin one is priced at five thousand one hundred US dollars, while the Ever Color is around four thousand nine hundred seventy-five. So they are gonna cost you around five thousand dollars, no matter what type of leather you choose. The bag dates back to nineteen twenty-three, when Emil Maurice Hermes created this bag for his wife, which was the first ever handbag to use a zipper. Let's talk about mini constants. How many times have you heard of constants being on everybody's wish list? And the mini size is of course very hard to get even though it's not a quota bag, but it is treated as a quota bag. The mini size measures 18, 14.4 by 4 centimeter. And the first Constance ever, the original size, is launched in 1959. I couldn't really find an exact date of the launch of the mini size, but I'm assuming it is offered in the size 18 for a while now. So the mini Constance does come in a variety of colors, that's why it is popular. It is offered in Swift Leather, Ever Color, Epsom, Box Leather, suede and the tadaki leather and also exotic so the mini size cost seven thousand two hundred fifty dollars and i know one of the reasons why people love constance is because the inner structure of the bag is more compartmentalized so it's easier for us to kind of put things and sort it there is a slim pocket before the compartments and there is a divider in the middle which creates two compartments inside of the bag i do think you know if you love an organization or a bag with a structure constance or the mini constance rather is definitely the way to go and after mini constance i do want to mention the mini ruli this bag is also a recent preferred style that people are buying because they cannot get the constance and the size for this bag is also very similar in inches it measures seven inch by six by 2.5 the bag is in ever color calfskin with an adjustable shoulder strap interior and exterior back pockets. The mini Rulis is very similar to the structure of the Constance. Besides, it has a different brand logo that is featured on the bag. What I can tell, the bag is a little bit slimmer compared to the Constance, and the price point for it is also similar. It is priced at 7,150. So the popularity of this bag is on the rise. Let me know in the comment section below if you cannot get a Constance, would you get this bag? And the next style is called the Mini Veru. And this bag is a structured mini, and I have seen it in person, and it is quite a stunner. It's designed in a very sleek and simple way. It is a little bit boxy, that is different than the other styles. This bag measures in inches, 6.7 by 5.5 and, and 1.7 deep. The price of this bag is around $8,150 in gold skin, and it's also offered in calf skin which cost $1,000 more than that. Besides these two type of leathers, I also saw that the bag is offered in suede and also box leather. Box leather is a really interesting leather and I do think it does cost the most out of the other materials. There is no compartment inside of the Veru but it does have a pocket in the back of the bag. There is a slim pocket on the outside of the bag but there's no additional compartments. It is a very structured bag as you can see see so it does make a statement when you wear it and the next two bags are probably my personal favorite before we talk about the mini Kelly so the next one I want to present to you guys is the mini Lindy the mini Lindy is a newer size that Hermes has offered since 2019 it measures in centimeter 19 by 12.5 by 9 it is mostly offered in Clemens leather and of course there's also ever color price for mini Lindy is also different depending on the leather choices it costs six thousand one hundred dollars for the Torian Clemens leather. For Swift, it does cost four hundred dollars more, priced at six thousand five hundred, and it is debuted in two thousand nineteen. So this bag comes with a shoulder strap and two handles, two interior pockets, and two exterior pockets. That's on the side. On the inside, once again, there's no additional compartment besides the pocket where you can put receipts or credit cards. So it is quite a spacious bag. I have done a review on the. Lindy 26 on my channel so if you are interested in the slightly bigger variation feel free to check that out but for the mini size I just cannot get over how cute it looks even though it does look a little bit boxy but it is not a structured bag so as you're wearing it the bag kind of like sinks in in the middle a little bit due to the two structured handle on the side and I do know that you can shorten the strap 
even though the strap does come in only one length is unadjustable but there are ways that you can play around to shorten the strap though I do think the versatility of the Lindy is quite cute and for a mini size that looks like that that can fit a lot more things than for example the mini Evelyn or the mini Veru because it's structured um, Lindy just offers a lot more space for us to be used on the go and I definitely eyeing on that. The next style is the mini 2424. The 2424 is a newer style bag and it's named 2424 because Hermes wanted to design a bag that can be used 24 seven. Often they come up with names like that. So it's very interesting. So the mini 2424 is debuted in 2020 and it is just one year old, but the popularity is also on the rise. And I started paying attention to this bag when I I was browsing and this bag is just very very cute currently the bag is offered in togo and swift leather or clemens with sombrero with a removable strap and two pockets i think the price is at around seven thousand dollars the brand hasn't made a lot of them so in order to get it you do have to request for them and i know that over here in america we haven't seen a lot of it since asia has a very strong purchasing power right now a lot of the newer models are being introduced and transported to Asia so I have seen them on Instagram and I know that it's known as quite a spacious bag once again it does not have a slim design so it does have quite a wide body where you can put a lot of things in there but I did hear that the limitation of the bag is the opening of the bag is made out of like two structured kind of a metal beneath the leather so the opening isn't too big it's like smaller than the size of of a twilly box so you know you have to kind of put things sideways but I do love the versatility of the removable strap as you can play around change it to different styles for example you can wear it as a crossbody and this bag also has a top handle for you to hold and you can also wear it as a backpack if you think you're carrying too many things or you want to be hands-free you can definitely do that as well so it is quite attractive and I am acquiring one so hopefully in the near future I will be able to do a review for you guys. Last but not least is the Mini Kelly. I know this is a big topic because Mini Kelly is considered a quota bag under the Kelly family. Let me tell you more about the Mini Kelly. So the measurement for the Kelly is 7.5 by 5 and 2.25 inches. The price for it is 8,000 plus in Epsom or Chevry leather. The cost of it is probably the highest out of all the mini bags, but it is considered one one of the most desirable handbags in the collection. The measurement sounds ridiculously small and in person it also looks ridiculously small. However, this is where the charm of the mini handbags come from as it is kind of portrayed as a luxury statement and also a lifestyle that you live in as you don't necessarily have to carry a lot of things on hand. You will just need your one credit card, one car key, and maybe a card holder and some cash and a lipstick. So a mini cap offers plenty of space for that. The leather choices is also offered in a wide range just like the Kelly handbags. So you can buy them in Epsom, you can buy them in, you know, I've even seen suede, box leather, and of course exotic leather. So there are quite a lot of options, but it is not something that is readily available for you to walk into the store and purchase because the popularity for all mini bags are on the rise. Hermes has decided to launch newer mini sizes under their different styles. Kelly still remains one of those that is very very hard to get if not the hardest so that sums up the eight mini handbags i want to go over with you guys today personally if i had to choose i would probably say my favorite is the mini lindy and also I'm interested in the mini 2424 and Evelyn is also a favorite because it is just so cute and price wise it's more affordable as an entry piece um, from Hermes so these are my top three if by popular demand I think a lot of people are gonna go for mini Kelly um, obviously like I said it is a quota bag in the Hermes family so I don't know how easy it is to get one but the other ones I believe you can go in and request for them obviously there's going to be a way because everybody wants a mini bag right now. So you guys, let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite mini bag out of the eight that I talked about today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.